I am taking on the VMAX challenge. In order to complete it, I need to build a deck and win at least once with every single Pokemon VMAX. In order for the win to count, I need to have taken at least one prize card with the featured Pokemon VMAX or deck my opponent out. Will I be able to do this or will I rage quit? Watch the video to find out. If you're buying any cards from TG Player, please use the link in the description to help support my content. This video is sponsored by Photon Store, TCG Player, Pokemon Card.io, and Card Market. All right, welcome back. And it's a Blastoise time. Thanks so much for being here live with me on Twitch. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Can't believe this is the fifth VMAX of the day. I'm actually very surprised. Um, this will be the last VMAX of today's stream. And Blastoise has the attack. Grand Falls allowing you to do 120 damage. And you search your deck for three, up to three water energy cards and attach them to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. And then you shuffle your deck. And then GMAX Bombard does 220. And this attack does 30 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So Frostmoth, Melanie, Until Online, Telescopic Sight, and the bench damage is great. Um, the deck can be bricky like Lapras, I can completely see that. And then Fusion Strike Swampert is the best way to power up Blastoise. Uh, what does Fusion Strike... I probably don't own any Swampert, right? But, once you return, you may attach a Water Energy card or Fighting Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. I love Swampert so much. It was my starter when um, Ruby and Sapphire came out. I absolutely adore Swampert. But I do not think it is its turn to shine when you can just use Frostmoth, right? So I'm gonna play. Why do I have so many different Frostmoths? What the heck? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play a 1 1 Frostmoth just in case, right? Because, like, you have self power up with Grand Falls. And then we're going to play the full Intelion line for sure. So one, two, the bench damage could be good. And we'll try the telescopic sight route. See if that plus the bench damage um, helps in the deck succeeding. That's going to be the focus right here. And so we cannot play capture energy, unfortunately. We can only play waters. So let's do nine for now. Maybe I can reduce that with the buckets. Definitely want. Um, Two buckets and then ball cards. We want level quick and then incense. What's the retreat cost of Blastoise? It is three and it is three, so we want switches, not air balloons, and possibly um, scoop up nets. We'll see. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, boss. We want this, and then we want... We could technically play Path to the Peak, right? Um, okay, let's add the Telescopic Sight. So I don't forget, let's add two of them. And then let's add Marnie, two, Melanie, three, and then Raihan, one, because we can search for the Telescopic Sight. And then research two. No room for stadiums. Um, two one moth. I mean, so that's the thing. Like, it, I'm because you have Melanie, because you have Grand Falls, you shouldn't be relying on Frostmoth. Like, I'm seeing the Grand Falls attack and Melanie. I'm even really questioning the Frostmoth. Um, that would open up a lot of really nice space. Um, because, like, 50 damage, I mean, 60 damage to two bench feeds is not even that impressive, you know? Like, that's a four-hit KO, and games don't last for that long, usually. Especially because you're doing so much damage to the active as well. So, like, I'm out of convincing myself that the Frost mod isn't even worth it, so I think 1-1 one, one is fine. And it could also serve as, a, like, a target for my opponent to go after instead of um, one of our main dudes so either i have three spots if i don't play the frost moth or i have one spot everything else seems pretty okay i'm gonna keep the frost moth just for the yeah you do have the pinks that's true you do have the pinks but that's the thing um till like down the road 
it's five, four, six turn games max, so down the road isn't even that far down the road, right? But we'll give it a try. Yeah, we'll give it a try. All right. So it's Blastoise. Has, has everyone seen the Blastoise kit video? <laughs> That's really old and the car, the kid pulls a Blastoise card from a base hit pack and then he goes Blastoise and he can't believe it and he's so excited. Um, this is the Blastoise deck. <laughs> Wait, is this, is this VMAX 24 or 25? I'm actually not sure. Okay, this is VMAX 24, yes. I did not miscount. Um, 24 plus 24, 48. One more VMAX and we'll be over a third of the way there. That's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm just, like, I was trying to think, right? Because it does seem like a, a fun strategy, of course. I'm just trying to, like, in terms of getting me the win, right? That's my goal, getting me the win. All right, we're up against another Melanie deck. Is this going to be a Blastoise mirror match? That would be insane, right? Dude, what is this hand? No, it's just so you could. But what even is this hand? <laughs> what even is this hand? Not a great start to showcase Blastoise. Ice Rider plus Suikun. <clears throat> wow. Color me impressed. <laughs> I mean, Crobat wouldn't have done literally anything in this hand, right? Crobat would have done absolutely nothing in this hand. <laughs> I like there's no way I win this. Versus that start going second with this start, even if I had Crobat, I would have been able to Crobat for what? Two? Three maybe? That's like Crobat wouldn't be good here. I guess Crobat would be better than the third switch that I added though. Just for the option, right? Just for the option to have to get out of a dead draw situation. All right, I am not competing with that <laughs> ever in a million years. So I'm gonna do that change. I'm gonna add the Crobat and then we'll jump back into the ladder. Um, Crobat, yes, I know PTCGO, I have over 60 cards. How many times? That's probably the message I've had the most throughout my time playing PTCGO. It's like, dude, I know. <laughs> I really know, I've been playing Pokemon for 20 years, PTCGO, I know that my deck cannot contain more than 20 cards, I mean 60 cards, more than 20 it can, more than 60, not quite. <clears throat> Alright, we win the coin flip, hello Mr. Ademarso, and now we're talking, right, now this is playable. And we get Mulligan, so... Oh my gosh, my opponent's doing the, the VMAX challenge as well. <laughs> my opponent's doing the VMAX challenge as well. And that right there is a fantastic top deck, because that right there can potentially get me attacking next turn with my Blastoise VMAX. So it's first attack. Not quite the second, but the first attack, yes. Nice. Galarian Chestplate. Path to the Peak. Takes 30 less damage. That is a lot of less damage. Okay, and we see a pass. All right. <laughs> we top deck the Crobat right as my opponent plays a Path to the Peak. Um, so definitely want to thin. Definitely, definitely want to thin. We might squeak out a cheap win here for sure. We might actually squeak a cheap win. Oh, no energy, dude. And what a hand. What is this hand? Two bosses and three drizzles. What the heck? <sighs> Stupid hands, man. <laughs> Stupid luck. <laughs> all right, but we shouldn't complain. My opponent actually hasn't done anything at all. Will grant himself bonus HP. It's plus 50. That's a lot. I thought it was plus 30. As you might have noticed, 
Um, I haven't been reading the cards too thoroughly <laughs> overall. Okay. So since I have this Antillian to get myself out of this weird spot, I'm just gonna grab the energy. Yeah. Um, a bomb of no. So by knocking out a bomb of no, not only do I get a price card myself, I also take out. It's like I'm hitting for fifty on the active. Um, and I guarantee myself that I fulfill the win. Oh, I do. Uh, wait, what? This does 120? What the heck? <laughs> Last is so bad. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well, now with a bench damage, I guess we can KO it. What the heck, man? Okay. So, let's do this. <laughs> um, let's go you know what goodbye croat let's just get a sobble and we're gonna gmax bombard we got our prize card we got our prize card i could have boss hound them yes or hound hour but they clearly don't have energy right so Watch me regret that. We're gonna get the Houndoom, power up, and poison me. Watch me regret that immediately. <laughs> it's okay though, I think. It's okay though. Watch me regret that immediately, but... Flannery? Crobat. No. Okay. So then, that's basically the game. Um, I mean, I'll set up another Blastoise just in case. Right, but I don't see it. like I think this is Blastoise done. I think this this feels cheap though. <laughs> you like the Venusaur? Yeah, the Venusaur and the Blastoise wins. The Venusaur and the Blastoise wins feel a little cheap. Uh, but yeah, Blastoise got its W. I did not expect that. Okay. Mm. I'm torn between playing one more game with Blastoise. <laughs> between playing one more game with Blastoise. I'll play one more game with Blastoise, okay? Just for the for the sake of YouTube. Yeah, for the sake of YouTube. We'll play one more game with Blastoise. Um, we'll make the best out of it. And then that'll be the end for today. We went through five VMAXs today. I did not expect that. I really did not expect that. It feels like we're in... Uh, sneaky win territory, right? Like, like my elo has gone down enough to the point where um, I'm squeaking in some wins. Um, yeah, absolutely. After Copperaja, like, I'm happy I get these these wins and not the the full eternal videos, <laughs> right? The full eternal videos that are never ending. I'm definitely happy with with uh, quick wins. Okay, I think we're up against Obstagoon. Yeah, I did see correctly. Um, so the bench damage could be important against Obstagoon. The telescopic side does not matter, but you never know when 30, you could pile on the 30s to get the wins. No Blastoise though. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try and get the Frostmoth out this turn, this time around. Because I can absolutely do this and just get Sobbles, and then I have this, and then maybe there's a universe where I can power up a Blastoise out of the blue. And that would be pretty good. 70 HP Sobble indeed. Imagine if I was playing the 70 HP Sobble, that would be bad. It would actually be pretty bad. Okay, so... Now I have Frost Moth and I have Drizzle Axis. And I'm one bucket away, right? I am one bucket away from getting a Blastoise powered up. So one level ball. I have Switch. Yeah, I'm one level ball or Drizzle away from getting Blastoise powered up. So let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. We're gonna go quick ball. 
Or scoop of net even. I can get scoop of net too. I have a really high chance at pulling this off. So I'm not gonna play the incense because if I get frost moth, then I incense for drizzle. If I get um, drizzle, then I incense for frost moth. Yes, let's go. <laughs> this hand is wow. <laughs> it's the opposite of the first hand we got, right? This hand is literally the opposite. We didn't even need the other drizzle. That's how good this is. This is insane. This is actually insane. I'm gonna save the drizzle for incense for uh, Blastoise VMAX next turn. What the heck? <laughs> what the actual heck? Back to back wins with Blastoise. Someone, someone should like, we should get three subscribers right now to add a win to Blastoise. Like, what the heck? <laughs> to make this count. To make this beautiful, absolutely busted start count. Okay, we're definitely not getting attacked this turn, which is great. Um, I do like piling up bench damage, for sure. I can't do bench damage this turn, though. Okay, so I think my plan is just bench, I mean, evolve Drizzle, get research, and bench the Blastoise and go off with that. Hope I get energy plus the VMAX. Or bucket plus the VMAX, that works too. We'll see what we top deck as well, but... Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Very impressive too. The first attack is so bad though, I thought... I, I could have sworn it was 150 damage, but it's only 120. That's so... Like... I guess it doesn't ever matter. I mean, it matters against Abomma Snow, apparently. <laughs> It matters against a bomb as no, that's when it matters. Okay, right hand and level ball. So I do like the right hand play here from my opponent. Right. Are they gonna save the Intilian? That wouldn't make sense. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Since when does Intilian attack? What the heck? Since when does Intilian attack in that deck? What the heck? Okay, now I'm worried. Now I'm worried in terms of... Um, Yeah, now I'm worried in terms of uh, potential stable I play, you know? Okay, there's the energy. <sighs> Is it worth risking whiffing the Blastoise VMAX? I feel like I need to do this, though. I really feel like I need a better hand to go on with this game. All right. Yes, no whiff, no whiff. Quick ball, Melanie. Yeah, but that's only three cards, though. Like, that wouldn't make much sense, right? You're quick balling, you're thinning one card, and then you're Melanie for three. And you're getting the same energy attached versus just research for seven. All right. Uh, we don't have... We priced two so... Oh, no, we lost a Sobble. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I'm not gonna grab the Croats. All right, now we just go G Max Bombard. Bombard the We get a price card. We have a boss. Everything has 70 HP though. That's bad. Yeah, Croat was in the deck, but why did I want Croat? Yes. <laughs> Blastoise V Max. Back-to-back -back wins, let's go. There's the YouTube content right there. I hope the YouTubers appreciate it because that was purely, purely for them, you know? Pigram attack on a stage one with less power illuminate, and exactly, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, that will be all for today's Blasters VMAX video and stream. I'm really sorry you missed the Dreadnought part. Um, I'm really, really sorry. 
that was like the best play so far, but I'm the only witness. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much to everyone who's tuned in, who enjoyed the stream. I might try to stream tomorrow again, yeah, earlier at about um, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time or 2 p.m. around that hour. I'm gonna try and stream and continue with the VMAX challenge, which we have now successfully completed Champions Path, these two promos. So we are moving on now to Vivid Voltage and Orbital VMAX. So we've been looking forward to that. Definitely try and tune in to our next live stream tomorrow. And um, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And unfortunately, no time for Mario Maker today. Um, I wish I had time for Mario Maker, but not quite. I will catch you in the next stream. Thank you so much, and until next time, bye-bye.